Here's a little shout out to one of our van life mentors. How do you describe a guy like Chrome, a van life guru and a rockin' van home? You started out chillin' with your disco boy, now Cruzy Bear's your buddy, bringing you such joy. You're a van city guy, born and bred, and traded it all for the van life instead. To embrace your dreams of freedom and fun, exploring new places, waking up before the sun. Finding a quiet road, seeing where it goes, calling out to the world, What's up, weirdos? <laughs> <laughs> you may get stiff from kneeling on the floor, but it's a shorter fall Heck from your yeah. tequila drawer. You've accomplished so much in three YouTube years. Reaching 100,000 peeps almost brought you to tears. Odd socks, plaid shirts, sipping craft beer at night. Cheers to you and Cruzy. Weirdos, unite. Heck yeah, you guys. Cheers. day bro I know I am hey good morning I've been a loner my entire life and if it wasn't for all of you I might be up here on the top of these mountains by myself screaming what's up weirdos hoping that somebody would reply it's insane to me to know that every single day we have this great community we have here on Van City Van Life all because of you Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're in Squamish, BC, and I decided that I don't like the people that are driving back and forth to work and just, it's like, it feels like being in the city these days feels like, <laughs> that's what it feels like to my brain. I'm out. I'm done. So we're in the backcountry in Squamish and we're going to go have some fun today because I don't need people's chaos. Okay? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's go play today. I know some of you are thinking, this story doesn't add up, Chrome. How could you have ever been a loner? You've been a DJ your whole life. You've shown us video clips of you at nightclubs and concerts with hundreds of people. Well, let's take a look at the DJ. He's standing up there on stage with his headphones on all by himself. Looks like a great place down here to camp out by the creek, but right on the other side of the creek over there is a little spot, and I want to go check it out. Way over there. I mean, you see it right there. very often but this is my little foldable table normally I just cook on the ground or anything like that but today the ground is a little cold so we're gonna be using this little foldable bamboo table which is super awesome watch this boom boom ta-da we got a table simple as that and all these just like pop out boom, boom. Whoa. Breaking everything here. <laughs> Which way is what here now? There we go. Probably seemed like a lot of work to set up all this stuff just to make myself some food. Look how red my fingertips are. I am so <laughs> freaking cold. But if you look over there, there's no frost on those trees. But everywhere down here is like a frosty wonderland. But right on the top of the hill in front of us, none of those trees have frost on them. But they're frosty down here. So our sun doesn't come up very high in the winter time. It'll kind of come up over there, cross over, and go back down. So I don't even think the sun even crests the top of that mountain. So we're going to move out of this scenario here because it's super cold. And I really don't feel like... Burr. There's a huge difference between being alone and loneliness. 
And a lot of people ask me if it's lonely out here living in my van, just doing my thing out here all by myself. And the answer to that is simply just no. You see, I think loneliness comes from a lot of people who go from relationship to relationship in their life and don't know what it's like to be by themselves. I'm not talking about being alone for six months. I'm talking about being alone for two or three years to get to know you. Because once you truly love who you are, then it's you that you need. It's your company that you seek every day. You get comfortable with just being out here doing you. Van life is very much solitude for a lot of people. But I think that's the great part about van life that really lets you get to know who you are. What's up, weirdo? <laughs> Feels like that one echoed forever. You can hear doo -doo 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 all over the place. Um, we've been driving up this gravel road now for about 20 kilometers, give or take and came to this a bit of a like a logged out clearing and wow what a spot what a great place to just unplug for the rest of the day so that's exactly what i'm gonna do but before i unplug what well, we have to say bye on this video which means well i better make a video out of this video before i can sit here and just like do nothing i think we might be staying here all night long tonight and just enjoying a quiet night up here i can hear the creek down there down below and little water droplets all over the place dripping from the trees. When we got up here, it was super frosty. Now all well, the trees, well, they're not so frosty anymore because all that sunshine has kind of, kind of made it, uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh my gosh, my shoes are dirty. Look at, look how dirty they are, look at. <laughs> Um, these are my winter converse. They have like a fuzzy liner on the inside and they have a Gore-Tex outside making them waterproof. They're perfect for our absolute wet winters we get here on the wet coast of Canada. West coast, but we call it wet coast. You get it. Anyway, you guys, um, I don't know how close you guys have been keeping uh, an eye on our channel, but we have grown by 15,000 subscribers in the month of November alone. That is a huge amount of new people believing in what we're doing. So if you're new around here, hi guys, welcome to the crew. We're just a bunch of weirdos living our everyday van life and sharing our every days with you guys. No waiting a week for a video and getting all the highlighted cuts, making things look epic. You get it every day. You get what's on my mind, you get what I'm feeling, you get what we're doing, and I don't care if we're having a lazy, boring day kicking around. I'm gonna run that camera and show you guys my lazy, boring day just kicking around <laughs> as you guys could tell i'm a little bit quirky today um I'll, honestly guys i'm having a hard time processing how fast we've grown lately it's just insane to think that why are you guys following me i'm just a dude that lives in a van with this dog and i got a bucket that i do my business in every once in a while and i pee in a bottle at night like literally pull out a bottle take the cap off put the cap on the counter just huge why are you guys watching me but literally when i think about me i'm just a dude in a van that just a dude in a van what's the hype what's the hype i think we're at 117,000 freaking subscribers right now that's insane um so if you guys ever hear me refer to what we're doing as a we or if you see it in a title we are in Squamish today, am I, or am I, hey, what's up, guys? We're up here today. When I mean we, I mean me and my dog. There's been some people over the times that have been like, why do you keep saying we? Because I'm not alone out here. It's me and my dog. I don't want to be like I, because we're a team. Me and Mr. Cruzy Bear, which is over there getting some sunshine right now. His eyes are closed. He's just soaking in all the sun. We're a team. So I always refer to me and him as we <laughs> it feels weird without it like i feel a bit selfish when i'm like i i i i i we a little crazy bear he's got his own youtube channel oh check this out i don't know if you guys have seen this but our new cruisy bear merch is out hey cruise the bulldog um these are available on teespring right now 
and our stickers are in. They will be in Vancouver when I get back there, probably the end of the week or next week or so. Um, so yeah, these are available. Um, go to their website, vancityvanlife.ca. Hey, while we're just chatting, let's pull out my list in my pocket. Okay, some things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Top of the list, cruise apparel and stickers. And uh, I have a question. Um, sometimes I ask you guys some things if, if I'm really unsure on what I should do. So we sell sticker packs. We sell like four stickers in a pack for $10. They're like random various stickers. If we did a sheet of stickers, so it's like an eight by 11, whatever it is, a full size piece of paper, it's a vinyl sheet full of stickers and we can fit just about every sticker we have ever put out on the channel, we can fit on that sticker sheet. Would you guys be interested in buying like a sticker sheet with every sticker we've got or close to anyway? Um, because the sticker company um, apparently does that now. So it's a little bit more cost effective, but it allows you guys to get everything in one mail out. Instead of me stuffing um, stickers in envelopes all the time, I could just grab the sticker sheet, stuff in the envelope, out it goes to you. I don't know, just a thought. Just, just randomly thinking about stuff here. Um, Christmas plans. Our plans for this Christmas are going to be the usual. So Christmas morning, I go spend with my uh, with my daughter at her place and watch um, her and her family open up presents and stuff like that. And um, then after that, I usually go to see my mom. Uh, my mom this year is not going to my aunt's house. So she always goes and spends family with my aunts. But um, if you guys don't know my mom, so she's now in a wheelchair and she doesn't really want to go to my aunt's this year. So um, I am gonna go spend time with my mom at her place instead of me going to my aunt's, which I do sometimes go, go over there for dinner. I'm just gonna go visit my mom this time. But that's our only real Christmas plans. Um, I am going to be doing a Christmas Eve live stream. Yes, a live stream on Christmas Eve. So in the last few years of my van life, we've always done a Christmas Eve gathering in Vancouver. So any travelers that are out here that have nowhere to go, nobody to hang out with, we would all meet up and just have a great Christmas Eve together. But because of all the stuff going on in the world right now, I don't wanna have an organized event and get in trouble if we go over the number of people that are allowed at an event. I don't wanna face the fine, so we're not doing the in-face gathering this year so i thought what a better time than just to hang out with you guys on christmas eve we'll do a super long live stream you know what i mean we'll just hang out for hours and hours and hours i'm gonna let the camera run we'll sit we'll drink and we'll just i don't know like decorate the christmas tree or something like that whatever people do on christmas eve i don't know i never was never really a major christmas guy but that's what I think we're gonna do with you guys this year is just hang out. So whether you guys wanna just pop in and say hello or you guys got nobody to hang out with in your, you know, in your world, then well maybe we all can hang out together and just enjoy Christmas Eve as a bunch of loners together. It's okay, it's okay to be a loner. I'm a loner, I love being a loner. Being alone's the best thing in the world. I Me, mean, I go a little crazy sometimes, like. <laughs> so, I don't know, if you guys think that's a good idea, we'll just kinda hang out. Well, fingers crossed we get to a place that has a good cell connection and we don't get booted on and off all night. But that is my Christmas Eve plan. And I am actually really, really, really excited about it. Oh, it feels so good. So, uh, yeah, you guys, before we lose all this sunshine, just thanks for hanging out with us today. I know this was uh, quite a simple little video, but I wanted to talk to you guys about Christmas Eve and let you guys know about, boom, cruisy merchandise and stickers and... If you want to know whatever is inside of my van, links for absolutely everything, including the link to my drone, because a lot of people have been asking what drone do I have. The links to those are at vancityvanlife.ca. And to answer that question before we go, because I know the drone went up in today's video, um, I bought the DJI Mavic Air 2, which is the little tiny little baby one. Um, the only downfall to it is it doesn't have that follow feature, so I can't throw it up above me on the trail, mark my van out, and then my drone will just follow me. It doesn't do that because it's just the cheapy, cheapy one. If I were to buy the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic Air has the follow feature where the Mavic Mini does not. Did I say Mavic Mini or Mavic? I got the Mavic Mini 2. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm really sad we're gonna lose this sun. 
Okay. See you guys uh, another day, okay? And mark that in your calendars, you guys. Christmas Eve. Don't forget about it. We're going to hang out together. I want to see all of you on that live stream or all of you at least come by and say hi to us. <sighs> okay. Cruzy, we're losing our son. Oh, I feel so bad. He was in the sun the whole time. Now it's about to lose it. There's no more sun over here where you are. guys we're about to lose it in like no time flat and it's seriously one o'clock in the afternoon i think the normal life that people live every day makes you lonely i think the world has a way of making people feel alone because in what we call normal life you only fit in in certain categories and certain things and once the world finds out where you belong in this category that's the one that you're in you can't intermingle with other categories because they're out of your league. You just don't, you can only be in your own little bubble. The world is a nasty place that way. But I think in van life, it is completely different. This is a lifestyle like no other. Because everybody in this lifestyle never fit in a category that the world stuffed us into. And if they did stuff us into one, we weren't happy being there but we were the ones that had the courage to drop everything that we knew to be normal, sell off every item we've ever worked hard for, and changed our life. So I think if you are feeling loneliness in that normal world out there, I think that all might change as soon as you start living in your van and realize that you're not alone out there, that you've got you, and that's all that matters. Van life, because normal life sucks.